Okay, so we're going to do a brief video of how I transmit my DirecTV box downstairs up to my bedroom. Now, the only time I ever use the DirecTV box is honestly to watch Yes Network and SNY and, of course, MSG because those annoying ads keep coming up every time I try to watch my sports networks. But for every other channel that I have, I just use my Comcast the Xfinity app on the Amazon Fire Stick. It works like a charm. And... I'll just mention that this complicated cable wiring hookup is for my kitchen TV. Uh, this actually is a secret little analog transmitter that goes direct hookup into my living room, from my living room box to the kitchen TV. So we're not going to get into that because that's not the point of the video. What I want to show you is this. So this is my HDMI to RF modulator. If you want to purchase this on Amazon, it's a pretty decent price. Got an Amazon Prime shipping available for this. So what I want to show you is how this works. So here's the plug in there. Here's what I do with this. So what you want to do is make sure that this stays on 4.5 on AU. Make sure it stays on that. So what you're going to do is hit N3. Channel 26 in my case is a better channel because nothing really goes on here. Well actually see it a lot better here see this is it <laughs> that will be the thumbnail so you can at least get an idea of what I'm showing so this is my modulator very good uh, right now I don't have the HDMI from here plugged in directly from the direct TV box so I'll quickly show you my direct TV box and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use this to watch a little bit of sports so I'm going to watch the Yankee Red Sox game on ESPN for an example, Sunday night, so you get an idea. I'm going to switch obviously later on to my Xfinity app, but this is just a demonstration because the past two nights I was out, I couldn't watch baseball in my house, I had to keep an eye on everything on my phone because I had concerts to go to. So. This is going to be on channel 206, and what's going to happen is I'm going to transmit this. So we're going to wait for a commercial so we can avoid copyright. So I have a splitter because I need the thing to be extended. I have a cable splitter. It goes directly into my whoop, a little bit of a whoopsie. No worries, I'll take care of that in a sec. I stepped on something, but I'll fix it. So it's going to go into my antenna right here. So this is the antenna right here. And here's the splitter. I needed to stop the camera for a sec. So what I did was I took the RF out. So this is the RF out right here. And it goes direct into my splitter plugged in here. This is my other antenna that I have downstairs in case my satellite signal goes out. So that's my digital set right here. I had tested the analog, it works pretty good, but I don't need my digital channels getting lost because I use the uh, upstairs one and it doesn't lose my channels for whatever reason and I'll demonstrate that as we go along. But yeah, look, this is the antenna. 10 bucks, got it on Amazon. Pretty good price. So the way my house is laid out is this transmits upstairs above the ceiling. My ceiling right here, decent signal to the bedroom where I like to watch my sports. So what I'm gonna do next is show you what happens when we pick up RF channel 26. All right, so this is my ESPN from the Direct TV box for Sunday Night Baseball. So obviously, this is how it works. I got the splitter, which is over here. My antenna is close to the door. I don't have it fully up because if I have it fully up, then the problem is the signal doesn't come in as good as the way it is. And I've learned out the hard way playing around with this. I said, I moved the transmitter around, came out pretty good. And that's my converter box over here. And I said I would wait till commercial, and this is baseball tonight in commercial, but yeah, that's how I have my own little analog TV transmitter. 
Again, I'll have a link to the transmitter in the description below. Good antenna, good um, modulator, of course. I'm gonna make sure it's HDMI AF, that way it's good. It's also good to have it if you wanna have a direct cable hookup and you want direct channels just to play around with. So, yeah, you can make this little TV transmitter and uh, definitely has a good use for my room. So, thank you for watching.